Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be jumping into yesterday's uh, Champion Cash Cup. We're going to be VOD reviewing and looking over Sen Booga. This is actually game number 14. And he ends up getting 15th place and he gets a lot of kills and a win. So I really want to like kind of just dissect this one. So as we're kind of jumping off really, really fad, fast, that's actually kind of crazy. Uh, you know, lands on a combat. He actually like was kind of struggling to get down at first, but he finds the first kill pretty quickly. And I, I think this just speaks volumes to, to how amazingly effective having a combat that early can actually be. But Booga finds two quick kills. And I mean, there's there's almost no way that, uh, that he could have lost that situation. Minus the guy that was above him that, that was a little sus but hey he had the good gun and i really just want to kind of break down and look through all the different things that he does this game because he does pop off and get quite a bit of kills as we do see him kind of pushing this player up top and so definitely kind of in a, a little bit of a w key mentality so he gets that guy hit for white health and i think he'll probably clean this up we'll see Booga. all right so still the guy's not going to be able to run from him for too long Booga does have shields, and even though he's getting shot at, I think this is just worth it. He's, he flies right into the box and gets a kill. That's going to be a free 50 pot, not to mention the one that he actually loots off of him as well. So full health now, and, and he's really just looking to slay this area out. And he actually has a lot of mats now because of these kills too, which is something that you can't, you know, uh, underestimate when it comes to... Uh, you know, just being able to push people. Like, he, ha he definitely has more mats than anybody else as he gets tagged up from his east end, but he's also gonna to get that re-health and the re-shield. Uh, he's looking to fly over and fight this person, wherever they may be. And so, I mean, hey, this early game plan from Booga, you know, whether this is planned or not, it's definitely viable for him to just kind of slay out here. And again, dude, finding a combat that early, super, super strong. We'll see mostly what we'll be looking for is probably like the rotation out of here. We'll, we'll look at like what fights does he choose to take, um, how does he take them, etc., etc. So it looks like someone actually died there. He's able to get that. He'll swap the AK out for an AR, throw the bubble so he's not going to use it, and then he'll take the shockwaves. Uh, and this is one thing I've been finding myself struggling with a little bit, like with how many good items there are in the game. I mean, sometimes there's just like not enough for a solo to carry. Wow, he finds a scar, which is even better. So not enough items for, for just a single solo to carry. So it's interesting to see him uh, keep like the one mini, I suppose. I mean, minis are great to have. So we'll see how he decides to, to carry his loadout going into later sections of the game. The three big pots right now are just an absolute given. He's actually going to be passing up on that one. And just continuing to loot in this area. I mean, he's more or less... Jeez, look how many big pots there are. He's more or less just won this complete area. And again, his mats are very, very strong with the blue combat. Yeah, he'll drop the mini there. So the mini and kind of like in my opinion right now, the the slurp slot that he has right now is kind of like the slot that will go if he finds something he wants, like a heavy sniper or, or something of that nature if he decides to run an SMG to kind of pay attention to things, move my mouse out of the way. So Booga, we have him on the map, you know, he's in zone, he's going to go ahead and push retail. And again, this was game 14, so he's really trying to put himself high up, so I think that kind of, like, adds to the W key mentality. So he does probably see that player down below him to his left, I assume he would have, but even if he didn't, he, he's going to see him now, so he's going to start to push over. Booga, you know, very confident fighter, doesn't have a problem pushing over to players. And was this guy basing up on a llama? Is that what I saw? Oh, he is. He is looking for the base up on a llama. So the box fight immediately ensues. This guy gets a lot of mats out of that, which could, you know, potentially be a problem for Booga. We'll, we'll see if he can get this quickly. Oh, and he takes a lot of damage. So this is the dangers of box fighting. And, and as someone that you know, is trying to improve a lot on my box fighting, this is where I, I really want to see how this plays out. So he's able to instantly start trying to reset. It's the wall yoink on him. He's going to instantly go up, and this is kind of like the new thing. You just got to be very fast, very prepared. Booga's playing this pretty phenomenally right now. Loses the wall instantly, flips over, climbs over to his other box, and, I mean, this is precision. Precision of being a strong player. Definitely something you're going to be ready for. Again, this guy's actually really good at box fighting, whoever he's playing against here. Um, is it, just really comfortable and ready to throw the ramp in his face. Is Booga going to go ahead and push up for height? Probably just try to take the fight in a little bit of a different way. Booga wants to get the 50 pot off. So some a little bit of mutual respect here. Is it, oh, was there actually another fight on the low ground? Booga starts to hop down. Oh, it's the zombies, I suppose. 
I'm gonna say, I don't see another outline, but Booga just trying to get in his face now. Doesn't own the wall. We'll see how this plays out. He does get a ramp in there, get the ramp flip, and he, he's trying to chase this guy. Now this is where things are getting a little interesting. Booga taking some damage, hasn't landed any himself, but he's constantly just pressuring this box. And man, the confidence, the confidence to keep doing this over and over again, using a lot of mats, he finally finds his first tag, if I do think that's accurate. Trying to put himself on the other side of the box and he's gonna find the ramp play. Here it is. Puts himself in the box and gets him. Wow. This fight, that fight was phenomenal. I mean, huge props to Phantom in this box fight. They just had so much respect for each other. And, and they were so they were both so confident and comfortable to continuously pressure the walls, both of them, to constantly like Booga on the first two uh, like wall replaces that he lost, was able to consistently move himself into a different space, into a different tile, and kind of reset. You know, he got really hurt at the very initial of this fight and was able to to put the space between him and his opponent that he needed to to reset. And then the confidence kind of shifted towards Booga's side, where he was now being the aggressor, constantly looking for the wall take. He take the wall, throw the ramp in his face. He even flipped the ramp at one point. Phantom was able to space out, get into a different box, and then the fight just pursued and pursued until one of these guys was victorious. Honestly, this will probably be the closest fight and the biggest 50-50 that we've seen um, from like Booga and another player, at least in this gameplay, for sure. I, I can't, I, I'm gonna think back to this fight and there's no way that anybody got that close to killing Booga. And we're gonna go ahead and continue this. So the first five kills are done. Booga is chilling in the zone, has really good loot, and is, uh, is over here in retail. And again, the biggest thing for me is like, I, you know, there's different ways that you can play these games. I'm assuming that because of Booga's place on the leaderboard, he's trying to put himself as, as high as he can. And this game was kind of like a go big or go home type of moment for him. Uh, you know, by you know by his placement of actually ending 15th. You know, you know that at game 14, when you have two games left, you're really trying to, to get some additional points and to con continue to do well. And this was definitely a big, uh, big earner for him. So we'll see what he decides to do. We'll take a peek at the map. He's, you know, really big zone, 37 people alive. So this is a big W key for people. And, uh, and uh, Booga's just going to try to capitalize out of it. It's free points if you can get yourself to the end game and any kills that he can find. Again, Booga, hands down, at least in terms of World Cup, the best solo player in the world, has no problems taking every single fight. Now, for me, I definitely don't feel that way. You know what I mean? That's not how I could put my play style to use because I just don't have that confidence. Now, whether that's something you got to work on or, or, or actually just improve the game first, he's going to hear this drift board. And now they both know each other there, but it looks real tight. Gets two insanely big shots and actually finds his way with the, the ramp and the uh, or the floor and the cone. He's just trying to shake things up to get that kill. Oh my goodness, that was great. The, the, the cone and the floor take above him to actually control like the top of the box and get himself in there was beautiful. I mean, that's exactly what he wanted. He's gonna score himself another shockwave to kind of replenish the one that he had. And then another big pot. I can actually see the trap items this game, which is great. So he's got a launch pad. He's got good mobility, three traps. He's, you know, the ability to outplay someone and actually a drift board now. So we'll see Booga's decisions. He's just going to drift board into a fight. It seems seems like his play here. He's trying to W key. So we got six kills. Booga just looking for some shots. Again, the way I like to review is I'm just going to really watch and take notice of the things. Uh, this is how I personally learn. If I can take notice of the things that I probably wouldn't do, there's an opportunity for, for improvement and for growth in my own gameplay. Wow, are you kidding me, Booga? He's just going to flying dink the guy like that? Disrespect. But seriously, if I can find Booga doing things that would make me uncomfortable and, and something I probably wouldn't do, chances are it's going to expand my knowledge of the game. And give me a different perspective so now flying into this player enemy does have the high ground we'll see if Booga wants to, to kind of fight him he's gonna run into a tree which is dumb annoying but hey this is the the creative work at play Booga has no problem building up on a player and going for the retake jumps into his box and double headshots him wow dude i don't want to say Booga's not nasty because he is let's see he'll use the chug we'll see what do you want to do here Booga? I think he wants okay well he's got he's got options with shields that's for sure so leave the truck behind no big deal seven kills just about max maps he's actually in the new zone as well as a lot of people from 
that bottom side of the map south left side of the map will be shifting over here's this fight and he's gonna instantly pad over to it again definitely in w key mentality which hey is sometimes something we we also want to learn he finds himself right outside this box he puts the ramp gets the take that's the flip he's looking for as the guy's trying to go up he catches the wall in front of him that's really really big definitely something i've been trying to employ in my game as well it's kind of like splitting the fight now looking for some split shots the guy's gonna fly away he's gonna find that easy 50 pot in the air see it already got him super low so he had the wall take he put the ramp in or i think he put the ramp in maybe the guy actually got it himself i think now that i think about it he, he had to have had his own ramp in there and then he tried to go up but booga caught him with a wall went up into his face and then cut the wall that's the speed that's the precision you know because i can put that okay gets the ramp flip has the wall now it's getting kind of third party so you may want to slow it down a little bit so yeah he, he got the shot on the side and, and yeah he had control of this fight but it's not worth just getting third partied see how he takes this fight gets it gets it and finds the shot closes and gets the finish that was just perfect now that like man the difference between Again, I, you know, when I'm doing these VOD reviews, yeah, I'm doing it as content. I, you know, wanna, I want to help you guys learn something as well. But I have to do it from the perspective of me learning something. When I see Booga do this, these aren't things that I don't know how to do. But it's things that I, like, for me right now, I can't do with this precise. Flying into this player. Instantaneously going to force the box fight. He's trying to get himself on that bottom side. You always see him get on the side of the walls. And whenever he puts himself on the side, he usually drops down on a ramp and then instantly starts the box fight. Something pretty simple, similar to how a lot of people do it. Uh, if you really feel comfortable or if you don't feel comfortable, I guess you could box yourself in entirely, like box to box against them and go for the wall. And you see Booga just pushing this one right here. Fully boxed in. And now he's he's going for the wall tag. And I want to see someone edit on him and see how he handles it. Looking for the timing. Trying to get the shotgun swap out so that way as soon as the wall is open, it's his. Guy cuts down and now Booga's just going to pursue this. There's no reason for him not to. He's confident in his ability. He takes that. Look, instantly. Close, close. He loses the pyramid, but he's going to go ahead and retake it. Now he's got both. Guy throws himself under his ramp. This guy's playing it really well. Booga on the chase now gets some good damage. And the guy's going to continue to move around. So Booga wants to find himself back in his box. If he does... Okay, shockwave coming in. Booga in the box now. If the guy has a trap, this could be bad. Booga's stuck literally in the box. I'm assuming this player does not have a trap. If that player had a, a trap or two, Booga's dead there. Like 100% dead there. Finds the headshot. There's the traps now. Why now? That's crazy to me. So, pro I mean, truly, I think that's going to be a, a, just a, a misplay from this player. As he's going to try to space away from Booga, but Booga, Booga can chase. And he is going to because there's no reason not to. Launch pads away, but we'll look for some shots before chasing most likely, but, but we'll probably chase. Again, I don't think there's any reason not to chase this. As long as you can keep eyes on this player. A lot of action going on over here, but again, this is Booga's kill. On the fight, look for it. Players are very good at spacing away. There's, there it is, there it is. Looks for the shot, gets the shields off. Just trying to get himself in, but getting third party a little bit, has to box up and play it a little bit safer. But he's still not going to let this one go. There's just no reason. Again, if you're looking for the exploits into the box, guy's starting to go up, but wants to catch him. He's just constantly on the chase. This is crazy. Not only is he like amazingly precise with the edits, but he just is constantly like aware of where this player is. I, I think this is, that was probably, <laughs> from my perspective, probably the most annoying thing I think I've ever seen booga do it's just like he was just on this player will not give up constantly finding a little bit of chip damage here and there you know a 60 shot guy reshields 60 50 shot 40 shot whatever it is constantly able to to put the damage in that he needs to still has some pretty good mats he's a little bit pressured now so he did get kind of shot on the side nades are coming in but hey look booga can play it slow whenever he needs to finds himself into a box and he's still got you know a good amount of mats no big deal Still in the zone. 10 kills now. We'll find the launch pad. What's he want to do? Where do you want to go, Booga? Where do you want to go and why? These are the questions I have. Ooh, getting amazingly destroyed right now. That could have been the end of his uh, end of his game there, but it's not going to be. You'll find a campfire and a couple minis. Now, why did you want to come over here, Booga? That's the question I have. You're relatively center zone. 
it's not too long, Travis. So it's not like it's a big deal. Just curious. Why did you want to come over here? Maybe just to get away from some of the hectic nature that was going on over on the other side. And I had a launch pad. Finds his way to the edge of the map. Ah, booga! Not only are you mechanically skilled, you have a good mind on you, my friend. Very, very interesting. If it, I could not have called that. I don't know if that was the actual decision. I don't. I really don't know if that's why he used two launch pads to get all the way over here. But if it was, I'm a little impressed. I'm not gonna lie. Twenty players left alive, a launch pad close to him that he just used. No real danger, so bugger. He'll get himself to the new zone. Bugger. Bugger bugger. He'll get himself to the new zone. See where he's trying to land if he wants to go up top, maybe if I can box fight this guy. Built in wood. I can see it. I can see it. See so assessing there's a guy under. Okay. Okay. There's a guy under. Maybe he's just looking for some info as he's gonna take the floor and, and just try to find out who's where. Does he fight low? Does he fight high? Wants his minis. Well, he knows the player's in this box now, so here's the box fight. Oh, gets a nice shot. Oh, this guy's done for. It's over. There we go. Finds a really nice shot on the edit. And that's important because like the, the takeaway I want to have there is like even when you're the aggressor in the box fight You have to be able to make a play because someone will edit on you someone will find a way to get in your face And that's where I struggle personally is whenever I want to be the aggressor. It's hard We're chasing on the player now the, That box already belonged to him the guy pushes back on him takes 100 damage for it, 123 damage for it but they're just trying to put the pressure in now. This guy on white, so he can absolutely full chase here. That was that guy made it easy for him. Made it too easy for him. He's gonna get him some shockwaves. Get him a pair of shockwaves at least. Use a 50 pot, grab another one. Four shockwaves, thank you. That's very much appreciated. 12 kills now, 17 alive. That guy. He, put, he wanted to push Booga in the box fight. The only problem is he pushed him into a wall that he controlled. So he got the free edit, got the shot on his way back into his box. He got a shot on his way out of his box again with no shield. He got a shot on his way on the escape. He got a shot. So if you're the last guy, just don't do not do that. That's a bad way to do it. A little a little overzealous would be would be the term I'd use and I, and I respect it you know I respect the 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 wanting to box fight like that I just don't think it worked in his favor I mean obviously it didn't work in his favor but I don't think it was even the, the smartest decision to make look at here now will he just try to force a box fight on this player this player is rotating but he's gonna definitely chase behind him why wouldn't he 50 damage oh and he's on whites bug is seeing red he's like a shark it. there it is there it is boom boom and it's 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 like clockwork ladies and gentlemen he he takes the wall as soon as he takes the wall he gets the edit he gets the ramp he gets the flip he gets the shot it's it's flawless i mean again these are not things that i don't know how to do there's just no way that a lot of us have the mechanical skill to do it so quickly so if you want if you want to improve if you want to get better in these scenarios we need to be practicing that specific motion i mean it's 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 almost like a specific play wall take cut ramp cut shot i mean it's 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 a combo he makes it look beautiful guy gets away from him he's looking for shots now as so he's going to be on the edge of zone it's got amazing resources six traps two campfires a, a plethora of shields five shockwaves he's looking to hold this might be a good situation. Player's building out of wood. He's getting focused. Uh, shockwave comes out, of course. Shockwave comes out, of course. Heavy sniper. I like might be able to hold down the player a little bit if he wants to. Shockwave, of course. Lots of shockwaves. That's the name of the solos. That's the name of the game right now. Shockwaves. Look, uh, any chance you hold this guy? What's your what's your play here? 
I know how many kills he gets. You guys don't, so we'll see. Now this is where you slow it down. I mean, it's it's been end game for a minute, and he's been flying around like an animal. I mean, I literally don't even think I can't even get away with this type of gameplay. There's just no way I'd be dead on the second box fight. But this guy is an animal. Do you get the kill? No, dude, it's gonna get stolen from you. He's looking for an angle. He can't find it. Spanned it over, looking for the angle. And hey, it's a good it's a good uh. Good way of explaining, you know, don't give up on your kill if there's a potential opportunity for you to get it. You can definitely go for it. Here's the guy on the high ground, but again, Book is kind of in like a little bit of a slower state of the game right now. He, he can't quite fly around. The zones are starting to move, so there's a little bit more pressure on him, uh, you know, other than just the, the need. I'm going to try to finish this kill. All right, shockwave in. Don't want to get focused too much. Gosh, the speed of the builds, the accuracy, insane, chasing the player. Dangerous situation to be in. I'm going ahead and shockwave out of there. He gets the height, but he falls off. That was actually such a good play potential. He still wants to hide, it looks like. We know Booga can crank for sure. Shoots that guy out. Will he find the trap? No. Looks like he wanted to look for it, but Booga gonna find the high ground. He does have the the height of this player, the player's gonna drop just play the mid ground. So Booga, at least on the high ground. That's a small launch. Get some shots, he's just gonna hold himself up here now. Okay, shockwaves away. I mean that's a pretty far zone to try to hold height forever. If anything, he can just get himself in, look for another set of cranks, but he's low on mats too. Lots of fighting below him, we'll go ahead and shield up. At this point, he'll most likely either need to force a fight and we'll do so like on the low ground or like as this is moving guys under him or he will just try to keep himself alive. He doesn't have the mats to go for high ground. Shockwave's up. That's surprising a little bit. Very surprising. Did not think he would look for height here. Finds this player. Now, this is what I'm talking about, though. He, he still has to find a kill. I mean, it's just like the situation that he's in a little bit. But I, I suppose if nobody's gonna take height, then hey, even if he only has this 100, 120 wood, he can still hold it. I mean, if it's gonna be given to him for free. Okay, player behind him on whites, that's free. He needs the mats though, he needs the mats. Okay, got some got some mats out of it, you know, not a whole lot. We'll just go ahead and work his way back up to where he was at though. RPG's a little bit annoying. Guy up on height above him. How does Booga play this? Chases the guy on the low ground. This is a little bit of Monka S. Monka S territory. Finds the shot in the back. Very nice, very nice. Still moving, got some additional mats out of that. Pretty, pretty key. Will he look for the edit shot? Edit shoot? I don't know who won that trade per se. I think the enemy player definitely did. I think there's some mats on the ground ahead of him. Take it slow, no big deal. The guy drops in front of him, finds the wall, so he can't quite go that way. He goes up a little bit. Booga finds the shot, and there's the kill. Insane performance. I want to go ahead and talk about my takeaways. Box fighting. Precision. Precision is the key in this one. Booga is not only an insanely talented player, he's amazingly precise. And it's scary. I mean, I guess that comes along with just being a really talented player. But again, the key takeaway is the Booga combo. And it's not like we haven't seen this before. It's not like other players don't do this. But to this precision and to this efficiency, it's the wall take. It's, the, it's not only it's the wall take, it's the wall take shotgun swap. Like it's that, it's that perfect timing combo. Wall take, cut, ramp, cut, shot. It's the, it's the most perfect combo. If you take anything away from this game, it's that we all need to be practicing that exact motion when trying to box fight. So thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Hopefully this has been somewhat informative. This is a seriously strong game from Booga. I mean, 16 kills and a win, that's a ton of points. He was at 50 something when this started, You know, maybe less than that, I already forget. But an insanely high game, especially you know at the very end of his cup where he's just trying to throw himself higher up onto the leaderboard. This game definitely made his event. Uh, you know, for this, you know, Thursday cash cup. So thanks again for checking out this video. Please do not leave without leaving a like. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about this video. I appreciate it again, and I'll see you on the next one.